Okay. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming on to my live video one more time. This is Robert Hardy, and this is the Excel Your Life Show. I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to continue from what we we, we um, started last night. We're going to, um, last night we started about talking about success is not in short supplies. And so we're going to just continue because of time's sake. It's just very late right here, right now. So just let's get into it. I'm not going to repeat what I said last night. I'm just going to go. I said last night that I was going to go talk more about asking. The you know, secret to success is just to ask. And, and I quoted quoted the Bible verse last night. This the Bible verse that said, Ask and it sh you shall receive. Knock and a door which shall be opened unto you. Seek and ye shall find. And so today we're just going to go right into it. Talking about asking. Now, the one, one, the number one thing that you have to do when you ask, when you ask God or the universe, whoever you want to say, when you ask God for something, one thing you have to ask with intelligence. Ask with intelligence. Now, what do I mean when I say ask with intelligence? Now, this is when I say what I mean by asking with intelligence. Oh, actually. <laughs> Okay, let's. Um, I cannot jump my head myself right here. Jump. <laughs> okay, ask with intelligence. Okay, when I, when I said when I, when I said I mean, uh, when I say that, what I mean is, ask. Be clear about what you want. Be very specific about what you want. Be um, you know, how high, how wide, how fast, how big, what color, how much. Define what you want and describe it in details what you want so that's what i meant when i said ask in detail i'll go over i'll go over that list again i know i'm kind of going a little fast but i do i you know it's very late i want to get to bed and and and, and I, I don't want this video to be too long so i'm kind of speaking a little faster than usual so the no so so number one thing in in two ways about asking is one you ask with intelligence what i mean by that is you be clear about what you want be very specific about what you want and when i say that look examples of that is be how high how wide how how fast how big uh, what color how much you know, a lot of people when they ask for for except for example money they just said oh i want to i know i want so much you want to get some money to pay our bills and pay off that, but you have to be specific. You have to have a specific amount. And sometimes, even when they say, "Oh, I want a thousand dollars," a thousand dollars is not really what they want. They maybe may want ten thousand dollars, but they don't. They don't see how they're going to get ten thousand dollars. Maybe they have more faith for a thousand dollars versus having the faith to build. They can't see themselves or see how they're going to get ten thousand dollars. Maybe they might see see how they can get a thousand dollars, so they for they ask for what they see they can get but if they can't see how they're going to get that ten thousand dollars they don't have the you know faith to ask for that amount so they ask for less so i know i know i'm guilty of that too in my own life but you know those kind of things we have to change this kind of mindset we have to change you know you know, i heard i think it was donald trump in one of his book um think big and kick ass he has, he has a book by that title he said one thing in that book. He said a lot of people when they when they ask him how much money they they want to make, and he got he, he gave them a list, and and um they say you want to make ten thousand dollars, a hundred thousand uh, dollars, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, or a million dollars. A lot of people will go for you know the two hundred fifty thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars, but <laughs> but he said if if he's gonna have, if someone have given him that choice, he will go right to the million dollars. You know, or a million dollar plus. You know, he said that that's he'd be his choice right away. He wouldn't even think about it. And and but a lot of people, you know, they won't even think of that. They will only think in the level that they're at. If that a thousand dollar level, that's what they will believe in God for, or believe for, or ask for. You know, so how much? Define what what you want and describe what you want. Describe it in detail. The number two about ask about asking the thing you have to do with asking, ask with faith, ask with faith. 
ask me faith. Believe you can get what you want. Get you want as a child. Have that childlike faith when you ask. You know, children sometimes when they come and ask your parents for something, they just ask them expecting to get it. Ex you know, just they, they, they don't have any, any worries about where it might come from, you know, or how the parents are going to get it for them. They just ask because they just believe the parents can get them, get it for them. So you have the childlike faith. Even Jesus himself said that, you, you know, when you, when you ask, um, um, when it comes, you know, about having childlike faith, you know, how important it is to have that childlike faith. I forgot, how, I forgot the exact words, but have that childlike faith when you ask for something, have that childlike faith. So, um, but the, the three the three points you're asking is asking is the beginning of receiving. Asking is the beginning of receiving. Asking start a unique process, um, mental and emotional. Asking start the emotional and mental process. If you start thinking, get the wheel in your mind, in your head turning, that you're going to receive that which you ask for. The second thing about receiving, receiving is not the problem. Receiving is automatic. The problem is failure to ask. A lot of time when we, why we don't receive something or why we don't have something is because we fail to ask. Remember, ask and it shall be given you. Ask and it shall be given you. That's what Jesus said. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened unto you. The reason, lots of time, the reason why a door, a door doesn't open to us because we're not knocking. A reason why we're not receiving any, anything is because we're not asking. And a lot of time, the reason why we're not finding things, opportunities and stuff is because we're not seeking. So, <laughs> um, so remember, you have to ask in order to receive, in order to get. So receive, receiving is like the ocean. There's plenty, there's plenty of supply. Don't go to God asking with a, with a, with a, with a poverty mentality or with a scarcity mentality or with a lack mentality. You know, I, I think when, um, sometimes we go to God, you know, you know sometimes I'll paint a picture what you, what I'm talking about. Sometimes, you know, as Jim Jim Rod said this, sometimes people go to the ocean with a spoon. They want to, they want to go to the ocean to get the water, but they go to go with a spoon. Now just imagine the ocean, the vast ocean. It's like an unlimited source of water almost. And you're going there to get water, but you have a little spoon or a little pail, you know, <laughs> when you can go with like buckets, like a big tongue of buckets to drop as much water as you possibly can. So, and sometimes that's how we, we approach God. Sometimes we approach, you know, asking God for things. We go with a spoon, with a spoon mentality, going to God, the, the, <laughs> the universe with a spoon mentality. You know, have a spoon in our hand, asking, can I have a little bit more, please? You know, <laughs> you know, instead of going with a mentality of, you know, have a big, a big, you know, a truck, a ton truck of asking and knowing God will give you that which you ask for. So ask, ask, because God, God is, God is there willing to give you that which you ask for, but ask in faith and be specific about what you ask for. Because that's how you get you get things into you, into you, and that's how things are given to you is by asking. You know, we failure to ask is failure to receive. I'll say that again: failure to ask is failure to receive. If you're not asking, you're not going to be receiving anything. So, ask God, ask the universe, ask you know a higher power, whatever you want to call it. Ask in faith. Ask, believe that you will receive it. Ask expectantly. Ask expectantly, knowing that you will get that which you receive. Expectation, and when you have an, when you have an attitude of expectation, expectation is when you have that um, heightened awareness that something is going to happen. Heightened awareness, you're expecting it. 
you have a heightened awareness that it's going to happen something's going to happen that's what expect expectation is it's a heightened awareness that something's going to happen you're expecting it you're expecting something to happen and that's how you need to ask ask with the expectation that it's going to happen it will happen and you know jesus says if any two of you um on earth touching anything that you should ask for concerning anything you ask for it can come in agreement asking for anything it shall be done to you so you just need one more person or maybe two two other person to, to come into agreement with you and ask and god was jesus said, it will be granted unto you so ask by faith ask intelligently ask intelligently by knowing exactly what it is you want ask and it shall be given to you so success is not in it is not in short supply success is available to all again i don't want to repeat what i said last night if you missed last night video go back and watch last night video it was very powerful very good and so you know go back and pick up from what i talked about last night and tonight we're just gonna go talk about asking how to ask and how to receive Asking is the beginning of receiving. If you don't ask, you will not receive. Anyways, we're gonna sign it. We're gonna end it there tonight. I, I hope you guys get something out of this. I am again. I didn't want this video to be a long video because um, of time. It's after one one p.m. My oh, almost two o'clock in my time. You know, I mean, I'm going from Pacific time, and it's almost. Two o'clock my time so i didn't want this video to be a long way video because i need to get to bed um because <laughs> it's so late so anyway thank you thank you everybody for joining me let me say a shout out here um neil thank you for joining me neil the edit edit thank you for showing me sherrick sherrick thanks for joining me nimno nimno thanks for joining me <laughs> um i don't know if you pronounce you guys' name correctly if i do if it if i did not pronounce your name correctly please forgive me anyway thanks for joining my live video thanks for if you're watching the replay thanks for watching the replay really greatly appreciate it please like the video please share the video and please leave a comment on the videos again if you're um if you're living in my local area i live in in the um the greater vancouver area grand vancouver bc Canada. Uh, if you live in my local area, I am having a my first ever con a seminar, first ever seminar on March March fourteenth from one to three p.m. at the Surrey Central Library, room four o one. Come out if you live in my local area. I'm, I'm I'm inviting you. It's a free event. It's only for two hours. Come out and and pay and. And I need your support and support me in this endeavor. Um, I need your support. I need your love. I need your presence there. So please come out if you if you live in my local area and support me on that day if you're available to come out on that day. Now this is uh, something I want to end with and and um, and be known by. This is what I call the challenge to you. My challenge to you and my challenge to myself too. So I'll try to, from now on, try to end all my live video by quoting this. I forgot to do it last night, so I'm making sure that I forget, I remember to do it tonight. Okay, <clears throat> then my challenge to you, let others leave, this other lead, lead, so let others lead a small lives, but not you. Let others argue over small things, but not you. Let others cry over small hurts, but not you. Let others leave their, their future in someone else's hand, but not you. Let others settle where they are, but not you. Let others live a life of mediocrity, but not you. Let others stay in their comfort zones, but not you. Let others live their lives in, in fear of the unknown, but not you. Let others, let, let fear of failure and fear of success holds them back, but not you. Let others count, let others be content to add to the wealth of the graveyard, but not you. 
you be the one to rise up you be the one to take a stand you be the one to to go to to make changes in your life in your life you be the one to go after your goals and your dreams you be the one that's my challenge for you tonight you be the one let it let it be known that you be the one that will make a difference in your life and in your world this is robert harley i'm signing off from tonight thank you for joining me god bless you i love you peace